Hello, this is Dr. Tushar Shah, 27th of July, 19th day of our program on outpatient management of COVID-19. Today, I talk about favipiravir. Favipiravir is an antiviral drug against SARS-CoV-2 virus. I think favipiravir should be tried, even though we do not have extremely good randomized controlled trials. I have used it in 40 patients with partial satisfaction. What are the requirements for using favipiravir? There are some. So remember these. One, we must have proof of COVID-19, either in the form of an antigen test or a RT-PCR, or if both are false negative, then a CT scan. This is required. Second requirement, the fever should be less than seven days in duration. The antivirals work better if they are given early and favipiravir, the oral drug, should be given early. I would say that within three days would be the best time. So quick diagnosis, quick confirmation and start favipiravir in selected patients. Now the third criterion, what patient uh, criteria tell you that this patient is good for favipiravir? First, any patient above the age of 60 should be considered for favipiravir if there is no contraindication, especially CKD. Second, any patient below the age of 60, above the age of 60 with comorbidity should be considered for favipiravir if there is no CKD. Third, any patient with significant viremia features clinically, meaning high grade fever within the first 3-4 days above 102, uh, very significant lymphopenia, NLR ratio more than 3.5, severe malaise should be considered for favipiravir. These are my criteria. I seldom use favipiravir in, uh, in the age below 40. Remember indiscriminate use of favipiravir will never allow you to understand its efficacy. You will make it another HCQS. We must use favipiravir in selected patients for ourselves to judge because we know many patients will get better anyway whether or not you give favipiravir. So choose the patients correctly. How do you know the response? If the patient's fever declines within 3-4 days, you can give credit to favipiravir. If the patient's fever remains the same for 7 days of favipiravir, or it rises during that duration, you consider a failure of favipiravir. Remember, seven days is the duration, minimum duration recommended, 14 being the maximum. I use it for seven days because by that time, either the favipiravir has worked or has not worked. So if it has worked, I stop it. If it has not worked, I stop it. Remember, the side effect of favipiravir that makes you makes you stop it earlier is vomiting. So if their patient has vomiting, stop it. Even if the patient seems to be responding in fever, don't give favipiravir if side effects have occurred. What are the principal side effects and how do you monitor them? The most important side effect is GI, meaning vomiting and possibly diarrhea. The biochemical side effect that is most common is high uric acid, hyperuricemia. And I have had one patient who passed a kidney stone while on favipiravir. I presume it was a uric acid stone. If a patient is on hydrochlorothiazide, withdraw the hydrochlorothiazide because that also can add to the hyperuricemia. If the patient is on AKT and pyrazinamide, you will have a choice to make. Pyrazinamide may have to be withdrawn for a few days. The other side effect is increase in creatinine. If you give favipiravir below the GFR of 60, Expect a rise in creatinine and monitor it. Below GFR of 30, it's a, it's a contraindication to give favipiravir. But I have kept even below 60 as my personal contraindication of giving favipiravir. I don't use it. I have seen 20% rise in GFR in such patients. The other contraindication that is well known is pregnancy. What do you monitor on favipiravir? You must have a baseline CBC, CRP, D-dimer, uric acid and creatinine with transaminases that is SGOTPT. At the fourth day of favipiravir, repeat the uric acid, creatinine and SGPT and do that again on the seventh day of favipiravir just to see the rise in these levels and decide whether you want to withdraw favipiravir because of side effects. Well that's all about favipiravir. Remember 
the dose is 9 BD for the first two doses and then 4 BD for total of 7 days extended up to 14 days according to the pharma literature. I use it for 7 days and uh, I'm, I keep hoping that it will work. So far it has worked in less than 50% of my patients. You should try your luck too. Thank you.